So in this video, we're going to just do an example for substitutes. And the example is that we're going to think that the, pizza, the price of pizza is constant. And when it's constant, people buy 9 pizzas an hour. Now let's imagine that the price of burger rose from 150 to 250 and no other influence on buying plans changes. When this happens, the quantity of pizzas bought increases to 11 an hour. So let's just take a look at the uh, pizza side for now. So for the pizza, the change in quantity demanded, change in quantity demanded is uh, two pizzas, two pizzas. That is because we went from nine pizzas an hour to 11 pizzas an hour and the price of the burgers changed. And the average quantity, the average quantity of pizzas, the average quantity is 10, 10 pizzas. And how did I get 10? Well, that's simple. We just took nine pizzas and added to 11 and then we divided by two. So this, how I got it is that nine plus 11 divided by two. So that's how I got 10 pizzas. So then we're gonna do the percentage change in quantity demanded. Remember that that's our formula, the percentage change in quantity demanded. And how we do that, remember the formula for the percentage change in quantity demanded from a couple of videos past is delta Q over Q average. Now delta is pretty much a, sim a mathematical symbol for change. And that is, that is two. So the change in quantity was two pizzas, and the average quantity was 10 pizzas. So we take two divided by 10, and then we times it by 100, which is 0.2 times 100 to get 20%. Okay, now that's that's done. Let's take a look at the burgers. So let's take a look at burgers now. Burgers. So the change in price of burgers, the change in price of burgers is uh, it's pretty much a dollar because you can see right here, it's just plain that the price of burgers increased from 150 to 250. So the change in price of a burger, which is a substitute, may I remind you, which is a substitute increased by a dollar so the new price remember is 250 so when we take uh, 250 and we add it to 150 and we divide it by 2 that's two dollars now let's just write that out so the average price is two dollars and how I got two dollars was I took 150 plus 250 divided by 2, which is pretty much 4 over 2. And that will give us $2. So $2 uh, a burger. A burger. Okay, so far so good. And it seems pretty simple. Now, the percentage change in price, remember that the formula, the percentage change in price of a substitute or a complement is what we're looking at. So let's just do the percentage change in price. Now the percentage change in price is much like the percentage change in um, quantity and you know this already because I did it in past videos. It is delta P over P average. Now we found that the change in price was actually a dollar so we just have one in the numerator and the, and the average price is two dollars. So that is pretty much 0.5 and we take that times it up by 100 to get the percentage which results in uh, an answer of 50%. Okay, now finally we can calculate the cross elasticity of demand. The cross elasticity, elasticity Hope I spelled it right. I'm pretty tired right now. So the cross elasticity of demand for pizza for pizza with respect to a burger with respect to the price uh, the price.
price. Oh boy. Don't freak out on me right now. <laughs> yeah, the price of a burger um, is, and remember that the formula for that was the change in quantity demanded over the change in um, the price of a substitute or complement. So using the percentages, remember. So we just take our 20% divided by our 50% because there's there are the percentage change in uh, quantity or percentage change in the uh, price of a substitute or complement and that gives us 0.4 and that is our cross elasticity of demand so now that that's done let's just note out a couple of notes and uh, let's use a blackboard for this because I think my computer is freaking out a bit so Let's just use this blackboard and and uh, get me my shelf so then I can increase the size of the font. So let's just call this notes. You guys probably can't see that, so let's just increase the size to twenty five. So yeah, so. The notes. So what we learned is that is that when the price of burger rises, the demand for pizza increases, and the cross elasticity of demand for pizza with respect uh, to the price of a burger is positive because we caught. We ended up with 0.4. Now both both the price and quantity change and quantity change is in the same direction is in the same direction because remember we got 50% and 20% and they're both positive so they're in the changes in the same direction. Now let's take a look at the soft drink. A soft drink is a complement of pizza. And when the price of a soft drink rises, soft drink rises, demand for pizza, the demand for pizza decreases, and the cross elasticity of demand is negative. Uh, yeah, that's all I want to teach you for today. Sorry for all the technical troubles, but uh, yeah, I guess I should really let my computer go to sleep sometimes. But other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.